Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and in this video I will show you a very easy and effective way how you can increase the signal strength of your Amazon Fire TV stick. In the past I uploaded various Fire TV stick videos to my channel in German language and because they helped a lot of people I decided now to also do the signal strength video here in English. A lot of users are struggling with only marginal or fair signal strength instead of good or very good and I will show you how you can inspect the current signal strength of your Fire TV stick and how to improve it. At the top menu of your Fire TV stick you can select settings, then network and there you will see your active and your safe networks and on the right side you see the signal strength. There are four different indicators so it's marginal, fair, good and very good. That's all you see. You could go to see all networks to also see the other networks in your house or the networks of your neighbor but all with the same signal strength indication. Also, if you select your network and click on the play pause button to see the network status, you see the same. So there are not more details. And what I want to do in this video is to show you some tricks and tools, how you get very detailed signal strength, which will then help us to optimize the signal of your Fire TV stick. To get more information from the Fire TV stick, we need to open the developer tool menu. We can do that with our remote control. There are different versions of remote controls. I have two of them and with both of them, yeah, you can open it with the same procedure. So start with pressing the middle button of the remote control and hold it for one second and then keep the button pressed and also press the down button on the remote control. Also hold it, keep boost buttons on hold for three to four seconds, then release them and directly afterwards press the menu button. Then you shall see the developer's tool menu. In this menu, we enable the first option, the system X-ray. So set it from off to on. And then you can close that menu with the return button on the remote control. Okay, now we see a new menu at the top screen, which is displaying information about display, CPU, memory, and also network. And for this video, we will focus on the network part. And there, especially on the part which is marked with RSSI. RSSI stands for Received Signal Strength Indicator and it is measured in decibel per milliwatt. This is a negative value. In my case right now it's minus 89 dBm, which is quite bad signal strength. So the closer you are to zero, the stronger the signal is. So minus 50 dBm is way, way, way better than minus 89 dBm. And what we try to do now is to change the position of our Fire TV stick and also the position of our router if possible and then monitor this RSSI indicator to see if the signal increases. So you can now see me moving the Fire TV stick. I try to move it away a little bit from the TV to the side, to the top or whatever is possible. And then I can immediately see my signal strength increasing. So now it's like minus 82. So when you move it a little bit higher, lower, it gets better and worse. So you have to experiment a little bit and keep an eye on the received signal strength indicator. You can also try to use another HDMI port on your TV. Some TVs don't only have HDMI ports on the back, but also on the side. So check the left and right side if there's another HDMI port, which is in better position towards your router. You can also try to use an HDMI extension cable between your Fire TV stick and your TV. So you can bring it into a better position, like above the TV. Some Fire TV sticks were already delivered with an extension cable. If you do not have one, I will link one below in the description. You can try that as well. You can also try to improve the position of your Wi-Fi router or repeater if you have one in place. So try to move it away from obstructions. If possible, place it a little higher, not on the ground. So at the wall or ceiling, depending on your router. And do the same as with the Fire TV stick. Move it a couple of centimeters. So sometimes it's enough to move it five centimeters to the left, to the right, to already increased the signal by 2 or 3 dB, so 3 dB is already doubling the signal strength, so that's a lot, even if it sounds like a small number. And from Wi-Fi perspective, 3 dB is much. So try to optimize that as well. So for this video, I also changed the position of my router to see what kind of signal we can gain by that. And I was able to get more than 10 dB increase of signal by yeah, bringing the router into a better position. So I moved it away from some abstraction and also placed it a little higher. And as you can see that, that are huge results. So I recommend you definitely to do the same. Try to optimize the position of your Fire TV stick 
and the router row repeater you have at home. Let's shortly repeat how you can get into the developer's menu. So press and hold the middle button on your Fire TV remote control. Then also press the down button. Hold both of these buttons for three to four seconds, release them and then press the menu button. That shall open the developer's menu. If that does not work with your remote control, you can also try to press the middle and down button simultaneously for three to four seconds, then release them and press the menu button. If that still does not help, there's another alternative. You can go to the App Store and download an app, which gives you the same option without using the remote control. This app is called Developers Tools Menu. So just download it, start it, and then you see the same screen which you see when you do the move with the remote control. And in this app, you can then enable and disable the system X-ray control. If you want to dig deeper into the topic and use more than just signal strength, I also want to recommend you an app which can be also installed on your Fire TV stick. This app is called the uh, Analyti and it's a performance test or WLAN analyzer. It can be used to perform speed tests. So you can now see it on my screen doing a download and then afterwards an upload test. You can see there the throughput. That can also be used before and after optimizing the position of your Fire TV stick to compare the added performance. So you can then directly correlate the yeah, signal strength increasement with download speed. What this app also offers on top of the download and upload speed test, there's a special menu for Wi-Fi networks. And there you can see the signal strength, round trip time to your router, to google.com. So you can see if there's an issue with the local network or yeah, with the internet. Due to the ping time, you can see the signal strength again, data rates. So you see a lot of information here. There's also a monitor to monitor the signal strength, which we worked on earlier uh, historically with the graph. So when you move the Fire TV stick and the router, you will directly see here in the graph how the signal is increasing and decreasing. And let me start to move my Fire TV stick again and monitor the top left side, the RSSI, minus 73 dBm, minus 78. And also on the top right corner, you see the Fi speed, the, the Wi-Fi speed, which is used and it's also decreasing. And you can see it now as in a graphical view historically that might also help you to optimize the position of your Fire TV stick and uh, router. So we went down to minus 80 dBm and only 78 megabit Fi speed. So yeah, let's see how that affects the speed test, which we did at the beginning. So you remember we had 90 megabit download speed. Now we went down to 65, 66, something like that. So we lost more than 20 megabit by reducing the signal strength again. I hope that video helped you to yeah, increase the performance of your Fire TV stick. I hope you can avoid lag, buffering, signal loss with that video. If you're interested in more Wi-Fi videos, then subscribe to my channel and have a nice day. Bye bye.